they used more force than they needed to. to Indiana attorney Craig Carp is talking to 13 News after filing a wrongful death lawsuit on behalf of the Paul Daniels family. He blames Metro officers for Daniels 2018 death. They basically pushed him to the ground until he stopped breathing. And it's about proper training for police to with folks that have mental handicaps. Carp shared Paul Daniels' mental handicap stemmed from a 1971 brutal attack when he was a college freshman. The suspect's convictions made headlines and so did the attack which left Paul with a brain injury. In September 2018, Paul wandered away from home. A driver on Indy's northwest side spotted him and called 911. 911, where's the location of your emergency? Uh, 56 and Kessler and Cooper. The gentleman walking down the street, I'm not sure if it's, he's intoxicated or he's having health issues. I'm not really sure. I walking in the middle of the street. When I was at the light, he, he did go down once and got back up. Daniels, who reportedly didn't like being touched after that 1971 attack, reportedly resisted the first officer on the scene, sparking a struggle. Turned him over in the grass. Two other officers joined him. Uh, they held him down for a number of minutes, face down, putting pressure on him from behind. Carp insists the lawsuit sends the message that all law enforcement officers need better training when it comes to how to safely subdue people in Paul Daniels' condition. That people can smother to death in that, that position, which is what happened here. It's called positional asphyxia. IMPD doesn't comment on the open lawsuits. In the past couple of years, the department has started working closer with social service agencies to better address mental health situations.